Hi, Dan Barrett, on behalf of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul, York South Particular Council, Social Justice Advocacy Committee. Reaching out for the 7th of February Feast of Blessed Rosalie Rendu through prayer, contemplation, and action. This year we pray for those who are sick and suffering, that God may give them courage and consolation. Sister Rosalie Rendu is considered an enabler of the founding of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. She was nearly 17 years old when she joined the Daughters of Charity of St. Vincent de Paul, and her achievements included opening a school, an orphanage, a child care center, a home for the elderly, a youth club for young workers, a free clinic, and a pharmacy. We will contemplate how she was able to achieve so much. Blessed Rosalie Rendu was born Jean Marie Rendu in 1786 in Comfort, France. She was the eldest of four girls, and her parents were simple, deeply pious mountain folks owning a small property. She was three years old when the French Revolution broke out, and her parents stood firm in their faith, even giving shelter to Catholic priests on the run from the revolutionary government. Her father died in 1796, and during the same year, her younger sister also died. Jean Marie took on the responsibilities of caring for her mother and her younger sister. As the revolution calmed down and life resumed to normality, Jean Marie was sent to the Ursuline sisters in Gex to be educated. During her walks in the town, she discovered the Daughters of Charity working in a hospital, caring for the sick. This inspired her to join this order. After receiving her mother's consent in 1802, she entered the mother house and took her vows in 1807, taking the name Rosalind. The thirst for action and devotion that burned within Rosalie could not have found a better place for her first assignment than the Mouffeta district in Paris, a district famous as the Hovel of the Poor. In the days following the revolution of 1830, the agility of the people was great, a thirst for a more just world. A desire for change and the commitment of Catholics to work together was strong. During this time, Frederick Osman, the main founder of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul, was introduced to Rosalie. He and his group were guided by Sister Rosalie on how to visit the poor, on the Christian way to go to them, to respect them and to consider them as brothers and sisters rich in humanness. With her, they learn to see Christ in the poor. As of the 4th of January 2022, our neighbors in need find themselves yet again in a COVID revolution. They are on the front lines of precarious jobs impacted by restrictions. Social distancing and access to personal protective equipment is often a luxury for those most affected by the virus. The vulnerability of those with underlying medical conditions are further complicated by the social determinants of health. Make sure those in need of help are aware of resources available through such organizations as the Society of St. Vincent de Paul and the York Support Services Network as outlined in the description section of this video. Pope St. John Paul II's homily at the Beatification of Blessed Rosalie Rendu in 2003 stated, In an era troubled by social conflict, Rosalie Rendu joyfully became a servant of the poorest, restoring their dignity. He praised her for inventive charity and revealing the simple secret of seeing the face of Christ in everyone. May we draw inspiration from Blessed Rosalie Rendu's witness and more fully live the gospel message to serve Christ in the poor with love, respect, justice, and joy. Thank you.